So picture this, you've gone on three dates with a woman, things are going really well, and you decide, you know what, I wanna ask her to be exclusive. And when you do, she rejects you. She says it's too soon, she says that she's not yet there, and you're confused because you've had three great dates, you don't know what's going on. And this is a problem that a lot of men come across and it frustrates them because they're thinking, I don't wanna waste my time, I don't wanna invest any more in her emotionally if she's not feeling this, why doesn't she just say that she wants a relationship if we're having such a good time together? And so I'm gonna actually be reading comments from women based off a Reddit post that a guy posted this very similar situation and you'll get to hear from them exactly why it is that they oftentimes feel like asking them to be exclusive after just two or three dates is way too soon. And it has nothing to do with them not liking you or them not seeing a future with you. You'll be able to hear the women themselves explain why it is that that is way too soon. Hi, I'm Harry Wilmington. I give dating advice to men. I have a whole website. You can go to harrywilmington.com to check out my coaching program, as well as my big membership program, the Get Girls Academy, which houses all the information you will ever need to learn about how to meet, greet, attract, land, and keep women. So you can check that out at the website. In the meantime, let's go over today's situation. So. There was a guy that posted in the Reddit forum, Dating Over 30, and this is where a lot of people post that are still having trouble with dating long after they've gotten out of their 20s. So, this guy says, he's 36, he says, I've been on three dates with this wonderful woman who's also 36. We've been texting for almost 1.5 months and dates are really good. Now recently, she canceled our fourth date and it was fine with me because life happens, but during our third date, I asked her about exclusivity and if she was open to it, which she said it's too early and she needs another six to eight dates to get there. Now, what have I told you on this show time and time again? That on average, it takes women two to three months to solidify their feelings. If you're asking a woman out once a week, that equates to about 10 to 12 dates. So this woman literally told him verbatim exactly what I tell you guys, that women need more time, not to decide if they like you, but to decide if the things that they're feeling for you are actually legit based on their experience with you, based on them being able to see consistency from you, and based on those feelings getting to a point where she just it's just undeniable that she wants to be with you. And that, for women, takes time for reasons that we'll get into later. So then he says, I didn't think much of it at the time, but now we've talked on the phone and I wanted to clarify this since I didn't get a clear answer. I asked if she's seeing other people while she's with me, to which she said she went on one date and that's it. So for starters, she's probably lying, but women are gonna try to lessen the number that they're gonna tell you to not make you feel bad, especially if they're getting the idea that if they give a higher number, it's going to very much bother you, okay? But on top of that, this guy is making the classic mistake of trying to get clarification three dates in to ask if she's already choosing him to be the boyfriend. And this is not your job. Your only job in the dating phase is to ask her out. When she says yes, you show her a good time, give her some good hookups, and you repeat that. And if you repeat that enough times and you're consistently showing up in a way that allows her to see consistency, then she will eventually have the feelings that she needs, she'll feel that she's established trust with you, and she will come to you and ask, what are we? So when you, after date three, where you've already assessed that you want her, go to her and try to get clarification and ask about a relationship or, or ask her, so how am I doing so far, princess? Oh, please let me know if I'm doing a good job. These are things that women aren't at a place yet where they've made those decisions and therefore they're gonna look at you and think, he already likes me a whole lot, he's already chosen me, I haven't and so I don't wanna be unfair to him so now I gotta tell him I'm no longer interested. And so this is why you as the guy should never be asking for a relationship. So anyway, so he wanted clarification and she said she's been on a couple dates with other people or one person. He said, now I'm okay with that but I want us moving forward to be exclusive, to which again, she said she needs more time. So she's literally trying to give him the blueprint. She's literally telling him, hey, let me come at you at my own pace. I'm still trying to figure out my feelings, both for you and for other people I may be dating, 
and it's only been three dates. In the grand scheme of things, that's like what? Anywhere between seven to maybe 12 hours together. That is not enough time in the span of knowing somebody to really know them enough to have made a solidified decision. And that's at least the thinking that women have. Women can't understand why we as men make decisions about dating them so quickly, but it doesn't matter in this case because of the two of us, she's gonna go based off of her feelings. We're basing it on, well, logically, she has the curves I like, she smells good, and she's talked to me three times really nicely. Yeah, I could totally date her. They have more things to look out for. So it's always gonna take them a bit longer, even if they have high interest. Even if she had 80 to 85% interest level in you, guys, that does not mean she's gonna trust herself in that moment that those feelings are gonna stay the same. She needs to also feel consistency in her feelings for you over a period of time. Three dates is never gonna be enough to do that. So this is why you should stop asking. But continuing, so she told him that, and then he said, this is my predicament. I don't mind going on more dates with her, but I want to protect myself from being too emotionally invested in this. And I'm not the kind of guy to emotionally date multiple people. I can only do one at a time. Well, here's the thing, guy. You don't have to date multiple people, but you have to be giving off the energy of a guy that could potentially be dating multiple people. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say you weren't just dating this one girl. Let's say you were dating like five other girls, and this one decided one day, you know what? She's flaky, she's on her period, she's moody, she lost interest, whatever. Do you think you would actually care if she fell off if you had four other women to go to. You would not. And so the goal for you as a guy is to get to a point both in your confidence and your dating skill set to where if you're only dating one person at a time, you're still dating as if you're, you're dating multiple people, which means you're not pressuring her, you're not trying to see her every single day of the week, you're not texting her nonstop, because those are the actions of a man that is desperate and can't get anybody else. And that's what women are gonna read off of that. So you don't have to date a whole lot of people, but I will say, if you haven't been in the practice, you should practice dating multiple people. So you get the feeling tone of what it feels like to not be so desperate and needy for any one person. And then you can go about dating one person, knowing full well that you're gonna do the best you can, and hopefully this is gonna work out. But if it doesn't, in your head you already know, if she doesn't work out, I can find somebody else. And if you go in with that attitude, you're gonna find that you're gonna apply less pressure. And by default of that, women are gonna feel as though it's their choice to be with you versus being forced to be with you. And that's gonna make a lot of difference in your successful in your dating life, you know? So then, but he, anyway, so he says, I was thinking to back off and look for someone else that can match my dating style while still dating her, to which I think it's not gonna go anywhere. That way, when the end comes, I won't take the hit as hard as I can predict it. Any ideas on how to deal with this? So in other words, he's thinking he should back off completely from this woman. And that's not what she's trying to get him to do. She's just trying to get him to recognize that for her, there's a process that needs to be involved in order for her to build up the maximum amount of trust that she can in this guy and to make sure that her feelings are more solidified when she decides to choose him. Because she's not trying to like, get into a thing, and then she sees something that she doesn't like, and then back out. So she's trying to make sure she learns all this stuff about you in the first three months, so that way she gets a guarantee that the version of you that she's getting, she can actually trust enough to be able to want to get in a relationship. But what he's seeing it as is, she's trying to push me away, she doesn't want me, and that's how a lot of guys take it, because ultimately, we're making decisions about women faster than they're making decisions about us, and that makes us apprehensive, it makes us anxious, it makes us think, well, if she's not deciding on me by date three, I don't want to waste my time, because it may never get to that point. And guys don't realize that it will eventually get to that point if you give it time. Now. I've said my notes about this, but there were a lot of women in the comments of this post that I thought gave really good insights into what women are thinking about when they're having these guys come to them to try to ask them for relationships after two or three dates and why it is that they're trying to delay that process. So I'm gonna read just a few of those comments because I want you guys to get that a woman can have high interest and still not wanna be in a relationship with you by date three and there are legitimate reasons as to why that is. So to start off with, this woman said, I have been burned in the past more than once by men asking to be exclusive in the third or fourth date and me getting more emotionally invested as a consequence of that. 
and then them dumping me shortly thereafter, after like two or three dates later. I wouldn't say I need nine plus dates to decide to be exclusive, but nowadays I definitely want to take longer before investing that much emotionally into something. Maybe she's just cautious with her own feelings like you are trying to do. It doesn't necessarily mean she will be dating other people, but just that she won't be focusing on this until she knows you a bit better. If she said she's only been on one date, that's fair enough. I don't think you're in the back burner. I think you might be pushing a bit hard, talking about it more than once already. It's not been that long. Keep dating, but without the exclusivity, you can stay a bit more distant, I guess. And then the girl after that said, oh my God, this, I thought it was just me. It's like, as soon as they're exclusive with you, they lose interest. It's also the time I will tell my inner circle about them and get excited because I think it's going somewhere. I'm definitely protecting myself more now because I know this doesn't really mean anything. So what have we assessed just from these comments so far? We have this woman up here saying that in the past, she did try to rush into relationships after three or four dates, and she found that that wasn't enough time to really have an emotionally set situation for either the guy or her. And so she learned over time, you know what? I would be more cautious, I'd be more in tune with my feelings and give myself time to actually fill out the scenario, that way I'm more guaranteed to make a thing work. And then the girl after her also said, you know, she's had the experience of guys getting into a relationship with her after two or three dates and then they lose interest. So she had guys coming to her saying, hey, I wanna be in a relationship. She said, okay, and then the guys went away because women are also recognizing that as even if a guy thinks that he wants to be in a relationship with a woman after two or three dates, the reality is after living that out, they might realize, oh, maybe I as the guy should have done a bit more due diligence before I tried to wife this chick up, you know? And so women are experiencing that from, from men as well and saying to themselves, you know what? On, on, on account of my previous experiences, I think both of us need a bit more time. But she also said something else interesting that I've said on this program time and time again. And what she said was, it's also the time I will tell my inner circle about the guy that I'm dating and get excited because I think it's going somewhere. And I think men discount the fact that for women, dating truly is a journey. It's not like an on and off switch where it's like, we're not dating, oh, now we're together. It's like, they like the journey. They like the idea of building up anticipation of being excited to see you, of being able to go to her girlfriend and say, hey, guess what? Oh my God, I met a new guy. Oh, let's talk about him for hours on end. And most guys don't see that that's going on. They just think the girl goes home and then he's on pins and needles like, she's not talking to me. She's not texting me. Oh my God, I got to get in her face. And I've been able to be, I've had a lot of female friends over the years. I've been able to see the behind the scenes of women saying things like, oh my God, I went on this date with this guy. He was so great. He was so cool. I can't wait to hear from him again. Oh my God, it's been a couple of days. I wonder what's going on with him. I really, really, really like him. Like her like for you is going to be built more in your absence. And then when you're not the one pushing the agenda for this to be a relationship so soon, after two or three months, she of her own accord will be like, He's been consistently great for two to three months and I really want him. Why hasn't he come to me? You know what? I have a really high interest and I don't want any other girls to have him, so I'm gonna start a conversation. The number of times I have heard women literally say, I don't know what's going on with this guy, but you know what? I either gotta start a fight or I gotta start a conversation that's gonna lead to us talking about where we're at. Like, you guys don't get to see that, but part of the reason you don't get to even experience that is because you're trying to rush after two or three dates for your own security. But your security doesn't matter as much as her security. And most women on average are gonna be more secure about choosing you as a mate after two to three months of dating you, okay? We have some other comments here that women left. Uh, there was a woman down here that said, um, I hope that the original poster listens to this comment because I agree. I, 34 female, am actively dating and I am telling the guy that I am most close to three dates with him while others just one date that I need time. I rush things in past relationships when the brain chemicals were firing off and telling me this guy's the one I need to be with when in reality, we only knew each other a few weeks. Weeks of knowing someone is almost nothing, which I say all the time. If you look at knowing somebody in the span of like 20, 30, 40 years, a week, two weeks, Three weeks isn't a lot of time. 
So you guys trying to rush women after two or three dates, and most of you guys, let's be honest, are asking women for those two to three dates within the span of the first one to two weeks, you're already, you're trying to make this happen as if it's gotta to happen today. But in the span of time, one or two weeks of knowing somebody and not having a title is not a long time. A month isn't a long time. Two months, three months, heck, even four to six months isn't a long time for somebody that you could potentially be with for 30 or 40 years. But when we're in our feelings, guys, we're thinking things gotta happen right now on my timetable and I gotta wife her up now because I may lose her if I don't, whatever. And this woman right here, she's saying, weeks of knowing someone is almost nothing. She says, I don't really care what anyone says, it's just true. You can have deep, meaningful conversations with someone and still not truly know them in and out. And then she says to the original poster, please try and enjoy the dating experience for what it is. I think as we mature, we need to realize this is part of the ride and we may not reach the ultimate prize at the end, relationship, marriage, etc. but that doesn't mean it's a waste of time at all. I feel that's a very negative one-sided way to view dating and relationships. And that's the thing, I, I've heard so many guys say, well, it's been two or three dates and I don't wanna waste my time. But picture this, right? You could either spend two or three months being patient and really getting to know this one girl and showing her a good time on dates but knowing when to pull back a bit, giving her time to herself, and then after two or three months, end up in a relationship. Or you could say, if I don't have her as my girlfriend within three dates, then that's a waste of my time, and then just keep going on dating multiple women where you're going on multiple three-date inquiries, and then after each third date you go on, you're like, hey, do you wanna be in something? And all these women saying no. You're gonna just keep dating like that for the next four, five, six years, and you're gonna be getting rid of women that actually would have worked out simply because you're trying to pressure them to a relationship. Like you gotta think about, is your time more so being wasted if you are spending two to three months with a person but taking your time and then doing it that way results in a relationship or you going on constantly meeting a new person, having to talk to them for a little bit on, an, on a dating app or in person or whatever and then going on three dates and then you ask for a relationship and then it doesn't work and you get rid of them and you find somebody else and just do over and over and over and over. That is actually more of a waste of time. But if you know what you're doing in the dating cycle, then you will find that you being patient is gonna make her wanna get into a relationship with you a lot faster than what this guy's doing, whereby he's like, three dates, need girlfriend, oh my God. And he's prob this probably isn't the first time he's done this. Because again, this guy is 36. So chances are, he's probably done the same thing with previous girls. Goes out three or four times. He's like, I'm all in my feelings about her. Hey, we should be exclusive. And then they're like, I, I don't wanna do that yet. And he takes it as, Oh, so that means they'll never want me. But that's not, the, that's not the, the dating pattern you should be following in the first place because that's gonna always, or more often than not, result in women feeling like it's too soon as these women are all saying here. In fact, this other one says, oh my gosh, this, in relationship to the, to the last comment I read, I just currently had to tell someone to slow things down because it's been too much too soon. There's no rush if you ask me. Also, my past experiences of being rushed into a relationship taught me better than that. You really need time to get to know someone and figure out if you're compatible. Liking someone or being attracted to someone is just the first step. Those things don't indicate whether we're a good match. And so that's what I'm trying to get you guys to see. These are, these are from the words and mouths of women. They are letting you know that just because they're not ready to be your girlfriend after the third date, it doesn't mean that they don't potentially see a future with you, but gotta understand, they're trying to build up more than just a like for you. They're trying to establish trust. They're trying to see how consistent you are. They're trying to see if in the experiences of being with you, how many memories they can build up with you that are gonna give them even more fondful feelings about you that'll make them realize, oh, this is the guy for me. And you guys are curtailing that by trying to get them in a relationship on your timetable, and that's gonna result in a lot of women going away. But the thing is this, if you up to this point have not been able to get the results that you want, chances are you're probably a very anxious dater, you're maybe a guy that's lacking a little bit of confidence, and all those things can actually be cured if you start to get a better understanding of how women work, of how attraction works, and understanding the ins and outs of what you need to do in order to properly vet women, 
date women, approach women, connect with women, and have the kind of conversations that women are gonna wanna hear in order to feel more things for you. And so I have a whole program at my website, harrywilmington.com, that you can join. It is called the Get Girls Academy. This membership academy is designed to give you all the knowledge you will possibly need about various facets of the dating game, ranging from online dating, to approaching women, to getting them on dates, to knowing what to do on these dates, and so much more stuff that's gonna lead you towards having the kind of dating life and relationships that you truly want. You can check out that program on the front page of harrywilmington.com. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching there as well as various eBooks, all of which are going to give you a leg up in the dating game so you can finally land the women that you want. So check that out. But hopefully guys, you've learned a bit now about the, the inner workings of women and learned what they're actually thinking and feeling when they're going on these dates and when you're trying to ask them by date three to be the girlfriend. They still like you, but they don't want that pressure. Let them be the ones to apply pressure to you about a relationship. I know you might be thinking, but what if I'm wasting my time? I don't want to give up my emotional energy or my money on these dates. But if you're following a set blueprint for how to date women, I can assure you by month two or three, they'll be coming to you. You just have to trust the timetable, be a bit more patient, and understand that they have their own processes and things they have to go through in order to feel more sure about dating you. Let them go through that process. I assure you, it is the best way for you to get into a relationship. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you have a question you want me to answer on one of these videos, you can write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. You can also leave comments down below any of my videos, and I'll be happy to answer them on one of these shows. If you have a more dire dating need that you want answered, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching at harrywilmington.com. And also, like I said, check out my Get Girls Academy, which is available for you to join as well. I'm Harry Wilmington. Be sure to give this video a like and a subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.